We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. It is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. And a signal there for the fair catch, so this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in this state at Florida Atlantic. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. You talk about this Miami defense. They're trying to cover up some holes in the secondary. Right now, bottom five in the league against the pass at number 28. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They go right back to Singletary. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Operating from the gun. Man, he's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down and eight. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. Right back to Singletary on second down. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. And this is a guy who's going to get some carries going forward. Picked up as a free agent just this past week. How about fresh legs, right? We always talk about bringing a guy in, provides that spark and maybe a little bit of extra energy. Singletary here running out of the gun. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Second and five. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That is taken in by Rodgers. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 22 yards there, a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Second and nine. Back to throw. Man. 
And it's caught. And he's brought down. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for the Patriot touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Hey, come on, two. Come on, two. Come on, two. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll run. Here's Devon Achim. And he is going to lose yardage here. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Now Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it brings up third and five now. This defense for the Patriots, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. And I think our statistician, we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury. And having to write down all the turnovers, his team forced five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope they'll recover. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Chase Claypool, 34 yards. And the Dolphins respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well executed post ground? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Out the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. But no matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and shut it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Yeah. 
Second down and six now. Douglas, the man in motion. Looking to throw on second down. Man, he'll get this out wide to Singletary. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Douglas, the man in motion. They go play action here on first down. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chest exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and ten. Douglas, the man in motion. Completes this one to Thornton. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. On first and 10. Man. And he's going to go down. Back at the 13-yard line. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Douglas, the man in motion. To throw on second down. Man. It's a gain of nine yards. And that's going to bring up the third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Escaping the pressure right. And this is caught. Cool. Touchdown, Patriots. Devin Singletary, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. So, Charles, the season winding down. The playoffs obviously not in their future as they look ahead to the offseason. What spots do they maybe need to fill? Well, I think that they like the guy who's calling the plays and throwing the ball. I think that he's a pretty good player. Need some help, I think, on the perimeter, though. Help him out with receivers because I think if he gets an upgrade there, his play gets that much better, too. A run straight ahead with A-Chan. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Here's a second and five now after the offsides penalty. Up the middle, A-Chan. 
Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. going to try and throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. The Dolphins in trouble to start play, six and eight on the year. But Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but... The attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, Tua. Wide open receiver complete. It's a big play there for Miami, 53 yards. Jet sweep, shrugs the tackle. Nice. Showed off the footwork, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Tua sets up to pass it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Tua with a quick throw, caught out wide. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The kick by Sanders is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. the first down as they begin the drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. And the Patriots first down. Throwing on first down. Man. Flush to his right. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, 
When they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. To throw on third down. Man, going for the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Here's Hill on the return. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender. So what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Take it at the 37. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Pats at the line, ready to go. One second, all that remains. throw incomplete and that is how his first half will come to an end so two quarters down two remain charles and i return after the break Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable, so curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for possible comeback, because I thought a lot of the best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. 
makes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Nice job there on the tackle, keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it's third and four now. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. This now a third and four. Two are going to throw. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's Tua. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. That's out to Hill. Right side complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 29-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Stop cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Tua. And this throw incomplete. Time, and it's going to lead to third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Chugamailoa. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Singletary trying the left side, and he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. And now an audible here into something else. third down. Man. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back in the 16-yard line. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. Oh, they're changing this at the line. On 
on fourth down. Man. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots' decision to go for it pays off with six points. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point by Ryland, up and good, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Right back to A-Chan on second down. There he goes, right side. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devon A-Chan with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Dolphins are back within a score. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They did a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead he does go down to a knee. And they'll bring the football out to the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Brings up second and nine. Singletary again. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 68 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. First down, man, being chased out left. And he wisely will throw that one away. And when you're in a one score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. to throw again. Man. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located. In different stadiums, it's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Operating from the gun. Man. Completes it to Douglas. Shifts by him. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And quickly, they get to the line. A gain of 29 yards. And a Patriot first down. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. On first and ten. Man. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Throwing again. Man. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. The catch might have been high. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it third and ten. Douglas, the man in motion. Again, he'll drop to throw. Out to his left. Throw fighting Thornton over the middle. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And now they'll audible to something else. They'll look to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's a hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Back to throw again. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. That open man that time may end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. on that field but this is a big play third and goal now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts that'll leave them with two remaining we'll be back after this no. 
Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two-yard line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. A big opportunity to tie it with three or take the lead with a touchdown. Their defense definitely did their part with that pivotal fourth down stop. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, a run by Ochoa. And he will get it up to the 12-yard line here. And they're going to speed things up here. On first down, back to Ochoa. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball has moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help that one. He ends up getting the tackle. What play? Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. And they'll hand off to Hull. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga by Lowell. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. Here's Tonga by Lowell to throw. On oh, a bad time lay for a poor throw. It's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10 yard line. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Rolling to his right. That is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. A feather in the cap for the defender picking up one of the league's better quarterbacks so far this season. And add another feather in the cap for the coaches, too. Excellent game plan. And add their guys aware of his ability to roll out and how to defend against it. All right. This is first and ten. Tua. Here's a chance to start the drive. And they'll get him down on pass 
the 15-yard line. They had to get it away from their end zone somewhere, but still a long way to go. Had to start somewhere. That's probably the best outcome possible. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Here's Tua. Tua getting it quickly out to Waddle. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Throwing Tua. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. On third down, HM. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here's first and ten. Now Tua. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. Well, he is so lucky that one of the defense coordinators I played for, a man named Ken Donahue, is not there right now. Because he saw that happen during his coaching career, and he grabbed a quarterback in the midst of a streak like this and said, tell you what, son, why don't you throw it to the defensive guys and let's see if our receivers can intercept it. <laughs> well, he's got to figure something out because the current formula is not working. down there, but it's incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Man. Complete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. Man, he finds Douglas complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. What a hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Go. Operating from the gun. Man. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end. Well, how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So a big Jason one coming Sanders now for Jason Sanders. Four seconds to go. This would send us to overtime. 
And his kick is no good. All by the slimmest of margins. He missed it wide to the left. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Well, we were prepping for overtime up here in the booth, partner. Thought for sure we were destined for OT. And then the chip shot field goal, no good. A tough loss. Oh, without question, because when you're saying prepping, I was locked in. I think you were, too. We're going to overtime. I was already gathering my thoughts about, okay, how do we start? What happens with the coin toss? Who's going to play defense first? And I have to admit, I'm in a little bit of shock that he missed that field goal. I'm absolutely still in shock. Eh? Just a tough way to end it. So for the Pats, they continue to rack up the victories as this one moves them to 13-2 on the year. And they'll get another road date next week.